Good morning. <laughs> yes, we're open. Hi, Leonard. Hi, Francis. Hi, Clutter Free. Yes, we're open, and it looks like it's not a busy weekend. How's my sound? I got my new mic, Leonard. How's it doing? <laughs> Hello, Francis. How are you this morning? Great to see you. My periscope. Yes, open antiques. Oh, good sound. Yay. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I wasn't sure. Oh, isn't it set cute? I just love it too. We just set it out and it will draw some attention. We're having a wedding show this weekend. It actually starts tomorrow here in New Harmony um, at the New Harmony Inn and Conference Center. So there should be several brides. There's also a group here this weekend that's um, they're quilters and dulcimer players. So they come every uh, year. A uh, group of ladies and they meet here in New Harmony and they shop and they actually shopped yesterday in my shop welcome Tom welcome Dr. Haggis welcome guys welcome to New Harmony this is the clock tower I always show on my 32nd Thursday broadcast yes a rowdy bunch <laughs> it looks pretty dead here guys but we we will be busy today um, the thing about great thing about New Harmony is never crowded unless there's a big event and uh, that uh, that's what the charm is about New Harmony around and don't have to stop talking because usually I don't use a microphone and uh, when I flip the camera around I have to stop talking so we'll see how this works out I'm kind of liking this road trip road trip tomorrow guys yes they came painted yellow hi David Hi, Defiant. <laughs> yes, they came like that, and I would never change them. I always like to buy things as is and um, not repaint. I like old paint. Um, let me show you. What's great about these is they have enough paint on them to where they can stay like this. They could be cleaned up a little here, you know, but um, I kind of like that look. Now, the great thing about these is it, won't, it will not hurt the value if you paint them. In some antiques, you don't really, and these are vintage, 50s, 40s, 50s, 60s. It, some things you don't want to paint, like certain types of furniture that already have paint on them, you don't want to paint them because it will hurt the value. Thank you. Thank you. Is it Shirley Francis or Francis Shirley? <laughs> oh, you love vintage? Great. I know. Aren't they cute, David? Just perfect. Perfect as is. That's how I like to buy things. Buy it as it is and sell it as it is. Francis. Okay, good. Good, good choice on your Periscope name. Uh, mine is C. Smoth. Hello, Russia. Oh, why? Yes. Yeah, I know. You, you lucked out. You lucked out. Surely it is Francis. <laughs> Hello, Alan. How are you this morning? As I was telling everybody, the streets look quiet, but it will be a busy day today, so I thought I'd better go ahead and broadcast early. Oh, so the early 50s. So see, that's about what I thought, too. Um, it has kind of um, 60s you know, influence, though. This is um, New Harmony, Indiana. It's a little uh, town in southwest Indiana, right on the Illinois line. We're about seven miles off of Interstate 64, right between St. Louis and Louisville, Kentucky. So we are uh, right smack dab in the middle. It's historically preserved like no other. I am great. The Atomic Duck and Cover Age, exactly. <laughs> I love that, that period, though. And have you noticed, Leonard, that um, all the furniture now, I try to keep up with all the trends, um, is, is influencing, you know, now. Yes. Um, how long have I been? I've been in this store for 12 years. I'll give you guys a look around. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Yes, we'll get more tourists in the summer. Uh, spring is actually a better time and fall to come here to New Harmony if you want to come uh, because it does get really hot here. But this is my shop and uh, my husband just came in the back door. He won't know I'm broadcasting, but he'll figure it out. 
oh yeah the architecture that's why we bought this building we actually renovated upstairs and we live here so it's really worked out I recommend anybody that has wants to get in the business of antiques um, that you find an old building that has a lot of character in a small town um, that's how we were able to afford this is because it wasn't um, it wasn't real expensive and the one big you know old buildings in huge cities are going to be really really uh, expensive so that's how when you find a place that's maybe a little tourist town that's what and it's in a good location uh, you know we don't get rich but we have a great quality of life thanks thanks there's uh, all kinds of stuff in here okay is he coming in here I'm periscoping okay. have you periscoped before Baze? It's like a live, uh, it's live feed. You, you take a picture, it's it's like it. YouTube live. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm explaining Periscope as I'm, we're having roof repairs done. You like, I know, those GE stools. Those are one thing people always ask me. Yeah, it's YouTube live. <laughs> Y'all want to be, there they are. They're going to wave at you guys. <laughs> in the distance uh, well thank you clutter free you know all it takes is just loving what you do and I know that you fool around with some uh, vintage and antiques and maybe sell on sell some online I believe is that true I see you in other scopes and I appreciate you joining me today but I try to sell a little bit of everything so I never I'm not an expert in anything except for if I like it you know yeah the table and chairs I actually have an Etsy shop and all my social media is usually under firehouse antiques uh, you can find me on Pinterest you can find me on uh, Instagram and actually those are for sale right now and I yeah, and I just joined your Facebook group I sure did I'm not as active on Facebook except uh, I, I'm starting to do snapchat and it's the same as this name C Smoth or Cindy Smotherman you can find me but my website is my name Cindy Smotherman.com what's Facebook I know and this Facebook live stuff I don't know I you know I haven't even tried it it seems like I saw it one time oh yes I know D Barnes I sure do yes so are you a relative of D now here's um, clutter for you are asking about painting and stuff where you were talking about it but this is one piece that if the people yeah antiques do have a certain smell but this piece right here it was painted blue and if it would have stayed can you see the blue paint right here if that had stayed blue and they had not stripped it it would be worth double the amount of what it was this is an early dry sink yes you like the cash register <laughs> isn't that cool that came out of an old tavern in Evansville which is close close by so yeah if you don't paint whoop I'm right by my door but that's uh that's it come on in hey how are you I'm periscoping as you can tell <laughs> so well guys um, I just uh, if anybody has any other questions you can ask but this is my shop We, we really like um, early American yes it's really it is and you should always if you find something that's painted and you're wanting to strip it you should always uh, try to figure out if you should or not especially when you get into those reds yellows like mustard color um, boy those those are really sought after even white white chippy paint right now is really hot yeah I like that table isn't that great I love pine that's a pine drop leaf table both sides so the wooden bowls I know they're a lot of fun aren't they I kind of made a Easter um, arrangement here now you want to go garage sailing I know there was actually a moving sale this morning and I forgot to go to it that's always makes me so mad but this piece right here it was painted probably in the 50s or 60s but it's earlier than that um, the reason we knew that is because on the back it actually has where it was shipped through the railroad can you see that it's uh, 
without me moving it because it's pretty heavy. It tells where it went, um, Nashville through Detroit, which was pretty cool. And it's, um, but it was painted later. You can just tell because of the way the paint is on the piece of furniture. See, it's it's not, and how you can see through here. So this could be changed, and it would not hurt the value. Although this is a really popular color right now, this mint color. So, so that gives you a little bit of information today. My vintage tips, and uh, I think I should. Yeah, I know. It's uh, so that's in my shop, and. Uh, this piece right here is an old bookshop book. Uh, <laughs> Dylan, <laughs> Dylan Cantrell, you're here. He's, uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, but here's a great clock. Okay, thank you, thank you so much, guys, for joining me. And I will, uh, I you know, follow me if you like. Thanks for the hearts. We're gonna take a road trip tomorrow. May, maybe visit another scoper if we can um, in near Louisville, between Indiana and Louisville, Kentucky. I'll be on the road going to Lexington to get Taco, my little grand dog. So I will be talking to you guys and follow me if you'd like to go on adventures. We do that too. <laughs> Bye, David. Bye, guys. Thanks so much, everybody. And thanks, replay viewers. Have a great day too. Bye, guys.